What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Team of the Season player review. We're trying to catch up on all the player reviews, but what you can expect from me tomorrow is probably a World Cup 5-pack challenge. Many of you wanted to see that back, but this time we'll do it on the World Cup. Open 5-packs and use the higher rate players and make a team around them. Anyway, let us get down with this review. If you guys are looking for a cheaper reliable place to get your coin, check out battletay.com. Their link will be in the description and use the code Etoni to get 5% off. Now, I purchased Team Season Vidal when he first came out, and I think I got him for around 350k, 300k, I'm not sure how much he goes for now, but I'm pretty sure he is less than that unless he started going up in price again. Now, to begin with, you have a selection of either picking Team of the Season Pogba or Team of the Season Vidal. Which one would you choose? It varies because I actually found Vidal better attacking wise, but Pogba better defensively because he has way better heading and just a lot better positioning when he's trying to, you know, uh, stop a counter-attack. Now, Vidal, I found him better as a striker or a centre-attack midfielder. Central midfielder, I think he's kind of wasted there with his sword. Well, by looking at his stats, I think he's wasted there. Centre-attack in mid or a striker really suits him. Now, striker position, he is out of position quite a bit. But since attack and midfielder, that is the best position you can play him in. Very good pace to begin with, with those sort of stats, very good pace and amazing dribbling. Compared to the inform or the non inform, his dribbling has improved the most. This is what I have actually noticed the most in his uh, team of season card. Now, he's got very good strength and aggression as well, which make him very, very hard to get off the ball. And he's got very good interceptions, very good defensive stats as well. So, as a center attacking midfielder, this guy could be basically defending up front for you at the same time. Really good finesse shots at the same time. You will see one that hits off the post and ends up in the back of the net. I think check was in goal, but it was a very long distance finesse shot which you guys have gotten used to watching in my videos. He can be used in numerous positions. You could try him out as a central defensive midfielder, central midfielder, center attacking mid and striker. He fits any of those positions if you can put up with him in, in certain positions, him being out position. Now, um, what you might not like about him is he had three star skills and his heading is nowhere near as good as Pogba. So you will find Pogba winning most of the, you know, he's more of an aerial threat if you play him up front or he's more good defensively against, you know, tall players. But with Vidal, I find him not winning many headers. So you have to keep that in mind if you're thinking of purchasing both. And if you want an extra defender, Pogba will be better for you because, you know, when, when someone's, you know, crossing or taking corners, that's an extra, basically an extra defender if you're using Pogba. But with Vidal, I found him sort of useless in the air. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Like, make sure you let me know in the comment section below who you would like me to review next from the team season players or the World Cup players. And also, make sure you tell me what you think. World Cup 5-pack challenge tomorrow. Let me know if you would like to see that. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day.